Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm reviewing the Transformers uh, War for War for Cybertron trilogy, Cyclonus. So let's get into the episode. So here we have him in the box. He's down there because I removed all those plastic things. They're pretty annoying to remove on him specifically. So yeah, that's why his head is just like that, you know, just po poking out, you know? So um, yeah, now let's just open this so we can uh, no, unbox him, see him in his glory. I opened the box before, so yeah. So ta-da, oh. Well, uh, technical difficulties. Um, so here we have Cyclonus right here. And his weapon. The box is just box stuff. I didn't mean the box to f I didn't mean for the box to fall on the camera. That was dumb. Also, they have uh, an arachnid card. We got this th I got the same thing with the uh, Titan class uh, arc. Yeah, I got the same one. I got the same arachnid one, I think. So yeah, now let's get close up and personal so we can see all his details. So here we have him uh, right here in front of us. Look at his face. Cat ears, <laughs> just just cat ears. That's all I can see. His face is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, the design of it is sick. I, I'm not really used to these. Um, come on, camera, focus. The camera doesn't like to focus. I'm not really used to these. Not very complex designs. I don't know. I like the more complex uh, Bay film designs. But the Bay movies were trash. But the dies but the designs were good. So um yeah, the head sculpt uh, I actually like like it's pretty neat. Sick. Now we come down to the body. I don't know, I just the simplicity feels weird to me. You know all the complex um, stuff in the Bay movie Transformers. I don't know, I, I I'm used to it. <laughs> so um yeah. Also also the wings, we need to fix those. So what you do is just push them in. So, boom, done, finished. That's how the wings are supposed to be on robot mode. So, um, yeah. Sick. So, um, uh, come down to the body. Uh, the details aren't that much because of the design. But, no, it's just pretty neat. You got the Decepticon insignia. Very sick. We come to the side. He's very bulky. I find him near the legs. Come to the back. The back. The back kibble. There isn't any. There's no backpack, which is amazing. <laughs> it's okay. But the I find the legs too bulky. So, um, yeah. Now the hands. They're just the hands. Uh, the paintwork is very good on this figure. So, and the, But the feet. <laughs> the feet. They're like... They're pretty awkward. They're very small. So, um, yeah, now we come to the legs. You've got this detail for, I don't know, the grills or something like that for uh, jet mode. It's, but the knee looks pretty sick. So we come to this side. You have a peg for some reason. You come to the back. Very sick. Also, there's hollow parts. Yeah, hollow parts. Yeah, I find the legs to be very uh, des designed very well. And yeah, that's basically for design. Also, his weapon is very hollow. Why? And they could have just covered it up with something, but his weapon actually looks amazing. Seriously, it's very cool. I can't wait to pose him. Okay, now let's get to articulation. And then finally, I didn't forget that I need to do measurements. Because I've forgotten for the past, I don't know how many videos. Oh, got the camera. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just do articulation. Articulation head. It just goes it's on a ball joint, I think. Yeah, on a ball joint. He can move the, he can look down. Sick, very menacing. He can look up. He can look left, to left, right. Look there, there's a full 360. Up, down, whatever. Now the hands, the um, hands, they just... Turn around. So it's pretty stiff for me. I don't know why. Also, 
the hand is on one joint you could just do a 90 degrees angle this can move almost 360 but because of this is there it cannot do that uh, so um, yeah same story on this side also you can just push it up because this very sick so um yeah now we get to the legs we just they can go forward backward sideways doing splits so so um yeah now what we do is just the knees uh, he can, uh, it's double jointed, but I don't think this double joint is made for robot mode, but mostly for transformation, but, yeah, very cool. Uh, the eyes can move. Yeah, I find this a bit bulky, but, you know, good posability in here. Yeah, I really like the posability. The feet, they can go forward, backward, they can go backward, just forward, they can turn a bit, yeah, they can turn a bit. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for articulation. Let me just fix the foot. Okay, fix that. Now let me find Mr. Measurement Tape. Measure Mr. Measurement the Tape Dude. I don't know what to call him now. Stanley's Measuring Tape. Three meters. I don't know how much this is. So, um, yeah, let's go. Oh, zoom out. Ah, that's enough zoom out. No camera. So, um, yeah, I got that. Now, measurement time. Yeah, we got, I, I hit the light. Okay, so measurements, feet, table head. It is seven inches or seven and a quarter inches or 18 centimeters if you're not American. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the um, measurement, I mean the height. So, oh, his weapon, yeah, his weapon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I need to measure weapons, but hey, it is what it is. So, gonna be around. See, it's not focusing. I hate the focus on this camera. So, from the tip of the blaster to the back, it is around seven centimeters. Or, Two inches and three quarters, whatever. So yeah, that's basically it for measurements. Now, um, the weapon store can be stored here. You know, it's very hard to put it. Just don't like how there's one weapon. But it fits very flush with the design of the weapon. It fits very flush with the hand. You could put it on the shoulder, leg. I don't know why these pegs are here. I seriously don't know. Maybe there's this Allen thing that makes um, get more guns, probably. I don't really know. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for a uh, robot mode. Now, let's get to uh, transformation. So, uh, yeah. So, let's push this aside. We zoom out enough. I have to stretch my arms so everybody can see everything I'm doing right now. Okay, now what we do is just move this. So... Yeah. Okay, good. Now we just do this. So, um, yeah, very sick. Now the hand is what we do this. Let's pull this up so we can just put the hand. Dang. Okay, we can just pull the hand also because it's just connected with that. So, I um, yeah, let's move this around so it fits in this indentation they did. So, um, yeah, this makes the back jet boosters. So, you got that. Now, let's push this inside to fit flush with the wings. Now, what we do is just the same thing on the other side. Fit into the indentation. Push this in. Um, yep, you got that. Now, uh, what do I do? Oh, yeah, hand, you just pull them back. Just easily just pull them back. Now, keep it like this. Also, this can turn, so be careful with it. So, um, yeah. So, now we have the tip, the tip, the tip, the tip of the jet booster thing, whatever. So, the head is supposed to be like this. Sick. Now, what we do is just go pull this like so. Push this forward. Then push this in. Oh, wait, don't, don't get it out. Okay, now what we do is just get 
like this outward. Okay, sick. Now, what we do is just, as you can see, this, this needs to be removed. And I hate removing it because I got no nails. Maybe gun can help. That's it, I'm getting screwdriver. <laughs> okay, green and black screwdriver is here to help remove stuff. Like, oh, okay, I had my yellow screwdriver near me, but hey, it is what it is. So just pull this up. Ta da! Push this in, push everything in. This is the landing gear. Wait. Wait, just me a second. Eh? I'm, I'm confused now. Um. Wait. Uh, oh no, I'm doing everything correct. I'm doing everything correct. This is just landing gear stuff. So, um, yeah, let me just get. Okay, wait, I can't move the landing gear. I'm confused now. Uh, wait, let me just zoom out so you just so you just don't see all my hand. So, um, yeah. What? All right, let me just disconnect that. That was the issue. It's not moving. Okay, now, yeah, landing gear, yeah. I'm just gonna move it out for now. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing everything correctly. Uh, everything's good, everything's good. So, uh, yeah, now we finish that. You got the tip of the jet. Now, what we do is just turn this uh, 180 degrees around. Let's go. Now, legs, what we do is just pull uh, this out push the feet in boom finished now same thing on the other side the design of this figure is just pretty neat not gonna lie now what you do is just connect the leg together the legs together now what we do is just push it in i just pull it outward you can just feel there feel that hollow space for, for the leg to go inside i See, it's going inside, slowly but surely. Okay, so I got them inside, so you have to brute force this in. Now you see these tab things, you just fit it in there. So what you do is just connect the legs together again. Just push it in, so until it is... Tapped in! So yeah, you got that. What you do is just turn this. Oh wait, can we connect this? Turn this around. Make sure to connect this piece right here. So um yeah, and make sure this goes above this piece of the leg. Like so. Now what we do is just boom. We don't boom. Ta-da! You've got that done. And we are almost done with the rest of the jet mode. So, uh, just home stretches. Now, what we do is just pull this out. These things are from the bottom. Ta-da, here we have, oh no. Uh, everything good, everything well, Cyclonus. Ta-da, here we have him in his jet mode. Yeah, it looks very epic, I'm not gonna lie. This Jet mode is uh, is designed very well. Just wish there were more details near the boosters. So uh, yeah, that's basically for transformation. So um, jet's pretty neat. You know, it handles the cable, but there's a lot of robot parts. But I, I think it handles it very well. So um, yeah, you got the tip. The painting is amazing. Uh, purple, the uh, darker purple, silver, pink, purple. Silver, you know, a lot of purple here, because Decepticons. So, um, yeah, you got that. Now we come here. I, the cockpit design is amazing. The, the, I just, the, just the jet mode is amazing on this figure. This is a good jet mode. Seriously, uh, except there's this just piece that's there. And I wish it just, it was just covered. So, um, yeah, we come to the back, the jets. Yeah, very sick. And we continue looking up. Woo! Very sick vehicle mode. Now, ah, it's measurement time for vehicle mode this time. 
So, um, he's a pretty long vehicle. Uh, so, back to front is going to be around 8 inches long, or 10 and a quarter inches. Oh, wait, no. Wait, let me just fix it. Wait, now you just wait. A. Oh, yeah, 9 inches long, or 23 centimeters long. So, yeah, that's not an exact. The measurement scale, but hey, it's the best I can do. So, um, yeah, let's just put this away. We don't need you for the rest of the day. Now, um, places where you can put your weapon this. Now, this is dumb, it's pretty weird. It just it's weird. You could put it, um, here, here. Yeah, that's basically for that. Uh, also in here. But that's pretty impractical. Maybe there's just, there were these weapons that were there they were planning to add for uh, this vehicle mode, but they didn't do it. Well, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. But this is the only sensible place that you could put it. It's pretty weird. So, yeah, that's basically it for this figure's um, what jet mode. Pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie, this this figure overall is pretty nice. So yeah, that's basically it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I make an episode. Thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, Cyclonus will find you because he's under the command of Galvatron. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.